Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of tutorials on Python for beginners. In previous tutorial, we discussed about if else, and now I am going to start with loops and range function. So, if you are familiar with some programming languages, you already know the for loops and uh, while loops. But for the sake of completion and to tell you about the differences between syntaxes of for loops in Python and other languages, I am going to cover this here. So let us suppose we have a string st and that has stored python in it. So what can you do? You can use for loop and for loop in python is written like this for and then any variable you can pick. I am picking a variable i in and then you can provide maybe some string or some list or tuple or maybe anything uh, that is uh, required to you as we have studied string till now so i am taking example of string so after this you have to put colon as you have put in if else right and then again those four spaces so let us try running this and i am printing i here so it is very intuitive that what should be the answer of this right so what it is doing this is picking each character and storing that in i so when i am doing i first time that means it should have p another time it will have y and then t and so on so its answer should be python but each character will be printed in new line you can also print index of these things so what you have to do for that for i or maybe for index value i have two things now in and there is a function enumerate enumerate function provides you index as the first value and value as the second value and after that you can print index and then value right you can also provide some symbol here so that it can be differentiated and now see the output p is at 0th index, y at 1st index and so on, right? So this is how for loop works. Similarly, we have while loop and for this you should have some condition here and then you can keep printing something here. Maybe you can print j and I will initialize j with 0. Then you can test some condition whenever j is less than maybe 5, right? So keep printing this after that keep incrementing j with 1 and at the end this condition will fail. So see the output right. So this is similar to some other languages concept is same some syntaxes are different but you can pick these things. Now I am going to cover range function here. So there is a function range and what it does. It has also same syntax as we studied in slicing of strings. So it has something called start, then it has stop and then step. Right. So maybe you can start with 0, stop at 10 and then step of 1. So when we are providing step 1, that means by default it is nothing here. But in case of 2, it is shown like this. Right. So when we are talking about range functions, it is nothing in itself. We can use it with something else and generally we use it with for loops. So for i in range and then I can print like 0, 10 and 1 which is similar to this 0 and 10 and then I can print i. So what should it print or maybe I can make it lesser maybe 6. So now what should it print? Can you guess the answer? I hope you have guessed till now. So answer is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And why did it so? Because range function is giving us numbers from 0 to 5. Right? Because this is the starting number 0 and this is the end number 6. But we will be excluding this thing. Right? Okay, now try to solve some more questions for i in range and then provide 5 here. 
so what should be the answer of this thing by default when we are providing only one number here it should start with 0 so it should be 0 to 4 right so this is how it works so let us do some more practice it's 0 it's 10 and then make a step of 2 and then print i so it should start with 0 and then as we are stepping 2 at a time so it should be 0 2 4 and so on so actually we are printing even numbers here if you want to print odd numbers what you can do you can just start it with 1 and then there will be odd numbers so you can see how easy it is in python to print even and odd numbers and doing such kind of things right so there is a homework for you you can try printing all the prime numbers in a range a to b okay where these a and b will be taken as input from the user right and make this question one okay so there is one more question for you write a program that prints all even length words of a string right so what you have to do you have to take a input from user and print all its uh, words that are having length even okay i think this is enough for this lecture we'll be covering few other things in coming lectures so if you have any doubt or query regarding anything you can always write in the comment and ask the question there okay so see in the next lecture with some new concept till then thank you so much